heat is overwhelming. Those firefighters are in serious danger right now. It's been another relentless day. The mountain they call the Black Rock was on fire. About 74,000 fires so far this year. That's 85% more than this time last year. In the hard-hit province of Krasnoyarsk, residents are literally choking on smoke. When you're battling Mother Nature, you're likely to lose. Since the levee gave way here, the water's been rising, and it hasn't stopped yet. A community in the outskirts of the capital of Abuja. And taps run dry unless drastic action is taken. This water crisis has been accompanied by India's second largest... The millions of people struggling with the water shortage. There are many words to describe this drought. Heartbreaking. <laughs> Authorities are racing to evacuate people. The city struggles with weeks of unprecedented and deadly flooding. From above, the devastation is stark. It's that strong, just walking in it knee deep, you're nearly falling over. Forest fires, storms, droughts, and floods are more and more frequent and more and more severe. People are starting to wake up, but it's not enough. I never had any warning at all. There's only one party that can form a government and is serious about action on climate change. Mr Speaker, this House must declare an environment and climate emergency. We have no time to waste. And will give us a Green New Deal. But we need a Labour government that's prepared to put public investment into renewable energy on a massive scale. It has an impact fighting on climate change. I've come here because I'm concerned about the victims of floods. That's why I'm begging you, vote Labour.